The Advance at UNM project is a five-year grant funded by the National Science Foundation. Our goal is to recruit, retain, and promote women and minority faculty in STEM fields. We do this through support programs for faculty and by working with UNM leaders to change policies. UNM is a Carnegie Highest Research Activity University and Hispanic Serving Institution. The Advanced Program started here at UNM in this last year and it's been amazing again because it's a way to bring together people from around campus, particularly women, particularly women in underrepresented groups and having a sense of community just makes an enormous difference. It can be really, you know, sometimes a lonely experience being a faculty member and so Advanced really provides both a physical space and I think a sense of community that's really growing. It's one of the really positive, I think, bright lights in, at UNM right now. Well, I think the fact that Advance exists here at UNM is a sign of how serious UNM's commitment is to women in STEM. And I think that there are women in a number of STEM fields, high levels, senior professors, you know, in biology, definitely in anthropology. So there are role models for young women coming into the field. In anthropology, from the very beginning, from 80 years ago, there were women on the faculty. So that kind of a role model thing is really important. They say you can't be it if you can't see it, and UNM is a place where you can see it. I'm kind of the only person in the world uh, studying African lungfish immunity. Basically, I'm an evolutionary immunologist. I'm interested in understanding the evolution of immune systems, uh, particularly invertebrate animals. I also love UNM, I just love the campus. I'm Spanish, so I have that kind of a little bit of a connection with the Hispanic community. I also have a lot of South American students that are here and they always come to talk to me afterwards. In my view, we give opportunities to a lot of people. We come here because we are engaged and we care about those things, right? I came here even if I have two other places where to go because I thought that I would make much more of a difference. What I'm doing matters, and it matters more than the papers that I publish, and it matters more than the money that I bring. My research is in computational biology. We use computer models to study complex biological systems, and we also use biology as an inspiration for computational systems. So we run the NASA Swarmathon out of our lab for uh, now over 40 colleges and universities. And these students are writing computer code. Uh, that code goes into a simulation system that we built and then into robots that my students, our lab has designed over the years. I think the best thing about UNM is the people who work here. Um, they're fantastic faculty and students. People recognize the importance of diversity, ethnic diversity, gender diversity, and diversity of approaches and opinions. The Refugee Wellbeing Project brings together undergraduate students and refugee families to address the social determinants of mental health that refugees face. New Mexico is a place where there's a really good quality of life, both in terms of the weather, the natural environment around us, as well as the people and the art and the culture and the history here. And UNM is a really good place to do really outstanding work, but also have a good work-life balance. I think that it's a place where there are a lot of opportunities for women to thrive. I think in general, the University of New Mexico does try to make it an open environment for um, female professional scientists to be involved with uh, STEM. And I'm glad to be here in that respect. By far my number one pride and joy is serving our, our uh, student community. It just happens that you work with Native American students, with Hispanic students, first generation, second generation people, a lot of what we call non-conventional students that you can impact. I have been very happy and excited about that and I've seen that both in teaching and also in, in my research group. Given the change in the demographics of the country, the only thing that we have left right now is to look internally to essentially renew American greatness. Right now, our undergraduate program is almost 50% women. We have a significant minority student body. One builds houses in New Mexico, traditionally from adobe, because that's the clay you have. 
If you lived in Maine, you build it out of timber. If you lived in Alaska, you are Inuit, you build it of ice. That's the material we have. The human resource moving ahead is basically going to be more diverse. So that's the material from which we have to build American future. And the material from which we have to build with is women and minorities.